Hi everyone, big warm fabulous welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today I really wanted to give you some really good styling tips so I thought I would talk about colour blocking for autumn or this transitional period. I think I asked you guys on Instagram the other day like what, what type of videos you'd want to see from me and so many of you asked me ways to make you look more expensive because I think I have a knack of making the high street look quite high end. So I wanted to share with you a really good tip today. So I'm going to get straight on into my first tip of kind of this season. So a lot of people make the mistake. I'm going to put a really bad outfit on here and tell you what is going wrong. So. A lot of people make the mistake of really not concentrating on the colour palette of an outfit. It's all about the colour palette. So you'll see here I'm wearing loose jeans um, which don't fit very well. The knees are the worst. <laughs> um, a pair of trainers and the coat is a different colour from the trainers. The jeans don't go with the coat. Then, then they put a brown bag on or something like a completely contrasting. It may be your favourite bag but whack it all together and it just is a mixed match of different colours and it's not, um, what's it called? It's not very nice on the eye. So, a great tip, a really easy tip, if you can't fathom out the colour palette of an outfit, a great tip is just to wear the same colour. Now, colour but the road is crazy outside, I don't know why, it's like every traffic, go, loads of traffic going past, but the best thing to do if you can't colour block, like, fathom out colour palette is to use all the same colour. Colour blocking was such a huge trend on the catwalk and I just love it. You guys know I'm obsessed with colour blocking cream but I'm going to show you today how to colour block all different colours to kind of inspire you maybe to work things that you already have in your wardrobe. So I'm going to start off with my all cream outfit. You guys know I'm such a lover of the all cream for like autumn and winter because I think it just makes you look so expensive. It's such an, a gorgeous elegant kind of look and I am the most clumsiest person in the world. Like ask any of my friends, any of my family. I am a walking disaster. I think it's because my limbs are so long. I just have no hand-eye coordination which is quite strange for an ex-ballerina like put some music on and I'm elegant AF in real life I will trip over myself a hundred times very strange but I have never spilled anything on an all-white outfit I've never got them dirty I think it's something about being more aware I even went and looked after my little nephew this weekend and my sister was like you're wearing all cream are you joking and I didn't get anything on it and I was he was throwing food everywhere so don't be scared of an all cream outfit because it looks so beautiful so the thing about wearing all cream or all white is that there's very different shades of white who knew <laughs> so many different shades of white when I started doing this I was like why is this why is this so many different shades? you can get like a blue white a yellow white so you have to have all the right shades so the all cream look is literally the hardest one um, but once you get it, like I would just stick to a cool pair of jeans that you have. I've got a very white pair of jeans and a very yellow pair of white jeans. So I have ones that will fit both. And then an all cream coat, an all cream jumper, and all cream boots. And I was huge on the all cream boots last year and I am just about to open. What's going on? <laughs> like a spaceship's landed. I cannot wait to move off a main road. I'm really, really hard. So let's talk about an all tan outfit. I went ham recently on my Instagram with this tan colour and I just love it for autumn. It's like that like very brown, like brown and tan for autumn is just gorgeous. But an all tan outfit was very much inspired by Max Mara. I don't know if you remember, maybe last season or the season before, they brought out all greys, all tans, all creams. And this is kind of where my brain got ticking with the whole block colouring, especially in these kind of neutral vibes. So this tan, I obviously have a hat to go with every colour. <laughs> I'm obsessed with fedoras because, um, my hair is so fine that I can't do two, three, fourth day hair. So once I put it up or put it back, it will just mold to the shape of the butt. So it gets basically, it gets knotty really easily. So I have first day hair and then I have to tie it back. So a hat for me really helps me feel fashionable and still glam, even if I'm on third or fourth day knotty hair because it gets so fine and knotty. 
So I think it's a great for those bad hair days to still feel really glamorous. And I think they just pull a look together really, really well. You don't have to worry about your hair, especially if it's raining outside. And I think it, it takes a certain amount of confidence to wear a hat. But once you've worn it so many times, it becomes such an extension of your outfit that you don't don't care and it makes you look so much more fashionable. I love people that wear hats because you can just sense their confidence. So hundred I always say, my, I've said this to my mum before when she's started to wear a hat, I was like, you've got to wear the hat, don't let the hat wear you. It's a good tip. So um let's move on to black. Black is obviously the most easiest thing to wear, but an all black outfit is super sexy, super sophisticated and really glamorous. And I know a lot of people think black's probably boring, but I honestly don't think you can go wrong with a black outfit. And pairing the simplest black outfit with a really gorgeous lip and your hair up, I think is a really easy way to look pulled together. Like most of my accessories are black. I'm such a huge lover of black. I will never get over it. I think it's just the one to make yourself look good and really simple as well. So next, let's talk about navy blue. Navy blue is one of my favorite colors. I think oh, it's just such a beautiful, rich color. My bedroom back in my mom and dad's house, I did navy blue. Like I've got navy blue cushions on the bed and a navy fro. And I fell in love with the color navy eight, so long ago. I really love it for interiors, like a navy velvet, like buttoned couch is like what I really kind of want in my new flat that I'm gonna get. Um, so here I've just got a navy coat, a navy pair of jeans, navy shoes, navy top, navy. I actually don't have a navy fedora. Maybe this is something that I need to get this year. But um, navy blue is such, it's a different to black. So it's an alternative, but it still has that kind of same luxurious, sophisticated vibe that black does. So let's go, I don't know what to call this color. Is it magenta? I don't know. I love this color, but an all, all this color is so different, like it's not something that I've seen before. So this is such a powerful, bold statement, but if you really wanted to experiment and play around, definitely. And this coat is so gorgeous. This was last year's H&M. I will try and link either new versions of these things or uh, if they're in stock, but I think most of my outfits that I'm showing you here are maybe things that I already have in my wardrobe. So if you're feeling bold, definitely go for a, like a, I think, is it magenta? Oh no, let's call it magenta. <laughs> So lastly, let's talk red. Um, this is also a really bold one, but I love red. I really, really do love red. And I think it's such a striking color and an all red outfit. It was really brought on the catwalk a couple of years ago. Not maybe a couple of years ago, maybe like last year like an all red outfit and then they started mix matching pink in with it but I'm not one of those ones that falls for like trends of the season. If I see something that I like, I like to take it on throughout the years. It's just I like to build the vocabulary of fashion things that I like. So once I see something that I love, I don't see it as a trend, I just include it forever. Um, so this all block red slash pink trend I really really love so hopefully this all red outfit can inspire you to be a little bit more bolder with your colours because I know if you are, some of you are always like Laura more colours more colours so this one is for you. So guys I hope you liked this video I hope it was insightful um, to show you how what I've learned in fashion and a few tips and tricks. I'm going to do more videos like this to see if I can help you guys out and perfect your fashion game. It's definitely a learning curve with fashion I think people don't realise how much there is to learn about it so I constantly observe what people are wearing when they, when I see when I see a woman that looks good I like really observe like how she's put the outfit together or what she's wearing so I'm gonna share all all the things that I've learnt over my um, time with you guys to help you feel good about yourselves because that's what it's all about on this channel I want want to help you look and feel good because I think we all need that um, recently in these times and I hope you're all good. I know this God 2020 has been awful. <laughs> um, especially um, if you've had Corona, it's not a good ride. I am um, gonna do a little bit of a catch up in my vlog this week. So hopefully you can get, like if you wanna know more about what I've been up to and stuff and how I've been dealing with Corona because it's not been good. You guys know I've been in and out of hospital so many times. So I'm still standing. 
But yeah, if you liked this kind of video, do give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. Always super helpful because I know one of you guys told me, like someone said, can you add the clips at the end? And I did and so many of you guys really appreciated. So it's really helpful to give me feedback, um, constructive feedback. I like I take it on board. So yeah, I hope you're good. And my Instagram is at the Laura Blair as always. And I will see you very, very soon for another video. Bye.